New at six, new developments on a bill aimed at taking away good time credits to certain criminals in prison. Just over an hour ago, the state Senate passed legislation preventing inmates serving time for certain crimes from getting out of prison early. The bill was introduced following the controversial early release of convicted child killer Michael Woodmansey. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live at the State House from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, Susan, right now, Michael Woodmansey is voluntarily committed at the Eleanor Slater Hospital, but this bill here is designed to keep people like him off the streets. 29 members are present. There's the bill a is the result of public of outrage moment. over the Michael Woodmansey case. Back in 1983, a judge gave Woodmansey a 40-year sentence for brutally murdering his neighbor, 5-year-old Jason Foreman in South Kingstown. But recently, Woodmansey was able to walk out of the ACI after shaving 12 years off his sentence for good behavior. While this legislation will do nothing to erase the tragedy of Jason Foreman's vicious murder, I hope its passage will bring some sense of peace. Senator Susan Sosnowski is the bill's sponsor. The bill, if passed, would force the most violent criminals to serve full sentences. The Foreman family were just taken aback that this individual, Mr. Woodmansey, would have been out 12 years, shaved off his sentence. Foreman's brother said this to us last week. It was a shock because nobody in our family was ever told that he was going to earn good time uh, credits. And now the bill goes back to the full House for a vote. We can tell you that it did not pass the House Judiciary Committee in the past because we're told it did not have the full support of the Foreman family. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile News and from the State House, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.